All right, welcome back friends. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at GPT-4. So if you don't have access to this yet, it is not available on the free version. You do need to upgrade and pay the $20 a month. But if you sign up, you'll get pretty much immediate access to it right now. And what will happen is, is that you'll be able to see this little drop down showing up when you log in. So, so far, just before we get started with this video, my content and channel is really about predominantly content generation because there's so much that is possible with generating articles, blog posts, and even images and so forth to create better content. This is where the real money is in my side of the world, which is um, just getting better rankings in Google and being able to sell more products and services. So GPT-4 is doing a pretty solid job at this so far. I've been playing with it, and let me tell you this right off the bat, I am completely blown away at the content quality that GPT-4 is creating, and it is a game changer. So I always talk about all these other different types of writing softwares and so forth on my channel. If you're not interested in getting those or you can't uh, afford them for whatever reason, then it is definitely worth going to the GPT-4 upgrade for $20 a month because you will get what you've paid for. So first and foremost, if we take a look at these, we can jump up here to the drop down. There are three options here. You could look at the default 3.25, the legacy and the GPT-4. And we can see that it has given us a few different parameters here to see what is different between them. The first area they say is reasoning. So that is giving us a three out of five little bubbles there in terms of rating. The legacy is a three as well. And if we go to GPT-4, the reasoning is five. So it is a big difference. So when we look at the speed, the speed on the default is five. Legacy goes down to two and uh, GPT-4 speed is two. So is it slow? Yes, it is. But if you're using any kind of content writers uh, that are using the OpenAI access, you're gonna find that they take time as well. So it's not that big of a deal that it's slower. If you're using this and it is the primary thing you're working on and you're not multitasking and so forth, it could be a little frustrating because of the speed. Um, and of course, we'll talk about the messages uh, being throttled as well. The conciseness, if we look at these, conciseness of legacy is one, the default is two, and GPT-4 has a four rating. So it definitely cuts down on the amount of fluff and excess stuff that you actually have to cut through uh, when getting content out of it. So it is a favorable improvement. So one of the things I wanna talk about here real quick also is at the bottom here, it says GPT-4 currently has a cap of 25 messages every three hours. Expect a lower cap next week as we adjust for demand. So a lot of people are having some issues with this in terms of being able to get things done with GPT-4 based on the limited amount of usage I've had with it, though I have not had that much of a problem. So I guess it's gonna depend as usual what time you're on here. I usually do my work late at night with this. Um, probably less people on, it's faster. I don't have too much of an issue. So. What things can we make better with GPT-4? In particular, in this video, I wanna talk about content. The content that is created is significantly better. Now we still have some limitations here, and uh, those limitations are, of course, not having access to updated information. Still the same thing, it doesn't have access to the internet. And in particular, the one thing that I cannot wait to see improvements on is how many words of text can be utilized in essentially the memory of the model. So for example, I think it's somewhere still around 2000, but imagine at some point, and it has been listed online, that there's about 25,000 uh, words or higher that we can use. So more tokens mean we can load more content into ChatGPT4 and it will help us. So for example, this is gonna be hugely helpful when writing eBooks. Uh, writing regular long form books, and also uh, being able to do things like loading large content pieces or PDFs in here to synopsize information and so forth. So that's a lot of benefit. So right now though, it's still quite limited, but it will probably be first available uh, with, in the playground with ChatGPT4 with the API when you have access to it. So right now, limited. 
So what I'm gonna do is go back over here to some of these things that I have created, for example, going through and writing uh, content for SEO and so forth. So there's a lot of things that we can do with this, but in ChatGPT4, again, we're going to get better content. So what I'm gonna do is ask uh, it to go in here and I'll show you just a quick preview. And we wanna write an article piece. So in particular, I'm gonna say, I want to write a keyword rich blog post using the primary keyword chat GPT for real estate. Okay, and we're gonna make sure that we add certain components of it to make our life easier. We're gonna say, be sure to use keyword rich H2s, H3s, because I do want to have some H3s in there, a click baity title, and add FAQs. Can't spell today. So just as we add that in there, we're going to see it get to work. And as you can see, it gets started right away. So it's not really that slow. But as we add this in here, I want you to check out the quality of the article. And one of the things that I noticed is an improved flow. So one of the complaints with the ChatGPT 3.5 is that it almost writes the sections as if they were independent articles. So there wasn't a lot of continuity or flow from one section of content to the next. And that was a little frustrating because that it required a lot more editing. So in the new, in ChatGPT4 model, we get much more flow from section to section, more logical train of thought in an article. And you could see here that it has done a solid job here already, just with the introduction, uh, title, Unlock the Power of ChatGPT for Real Estate, Boost Your Business in No Time. We have a concise introduction and today's fast-paced tech-savvy world staying ahead of the competition is crucial. Learn how leveraging artificial intelligence can streamline your business. See, that's a great, great introduction. We go into the first H2, transform your real estate business. Uh, look at our H3s here, which are underneath there, streamline customer engagement, enhance lead generation, customize your chat GPT for real estate experience. And um, again, very concise, not a lot of fluff. And that is what we were talking about when we went up here to the top and we did that scroll down, we looked at the conciseness, not a lot of extra junk in there, okay? Now we have FAQs, is ChatGPT for real estate suitable for all types of real estate businesses? How does ChatGPT for real estate help save time and money? This is just great, okay? It's so much better. Now, obviously there's a lot of things that I had left out of here because I just wanted to make this video a little bit shorter. I've also asked it to give me recommendations for inbound links and external links and which text to actually use as my anchor text. And I've been able to include those as well. So if you're creating a topic cluster and I'll do another video on this later to show you how it was doing this just with GPT-4, if you're not using external softwares, you can still have GPT-4 do this for you and it will do a pretty solid job. So asking it to create a topic cluster around a primary article or blog post, what we would call a money post or a money page, so that we can increase the ranking of that central page. And that way we're going to need extra or article ideas around that topic but then that we're also going to need to create links in and out of that blog post in order to maximize its ranking. So very quickly, we can generate quality, quality content. And those of you who are out there already, because I get so many comments on my other video about this, about whether or not Google is going to penalize your site for using AI-generated content, I think we need to get over it at the point people still are asking me about this. No, because Google has come out and said that they are not going to penalize for AI content. It's very important that the content is user friendly and that it answers the search query for the user and gives the user a good experience. That is what matters. 
So the better the content here, and we're obviously seeing that with GPT-4, the better that content is going to rank and help the user with what they're trying to look for, it's gonna be just fine. So as we create more and more content and we interlink it together, the faster we get things ranked and the faster that we can monetize a website, whether it's an affiliate website, whether or not that's a lead generation website, local business, no matter what it is. So GPT-4 is really doing a fun, fantastic job so far. I love it. I'll be providing some results very soon on what's been going on, but uh, I've been spending a lot of my time generating content because it's been, you know, I've, I've figured out better prompts and so forth and to be able to streamline my work, especially using writers, like I've mentioned many times, ZimWriter, which is fantastic. But if you're not using a writer, then you can 100% do this in GPT-4. So make sure you get access to this. So it's pretty awesome uh, so far. I just wanted to make a video just to get some things out there. But it's just building upon everything else that I've shown you with the uh, previous videos on my channel. All the things you can do, you can do better. So the big thing that we're waiting for, though, is to be able to input more total words into the system so that we can train the model to do more complex things and write longer pieces of content. That's the stuff that we're really waiting on. So make sure you upgrade, get access to GPT-4. I got a lot more videos coming up on cool stuff that we're going to do with this and show you how to make money with ChatGPT in a realistic way not with all that extra nonsense that you see online. So if you like this video, be sure to thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried GPT-4 and what you think. And of course, make sure that you follow my channel for additional videos and updates. Thanks so much for watching.